We will now log into the portal with the client credentials sent via email to the client. Select Login. When prompted, enter in a more suitable password and a memorable word. Then select Update. In this example, the client is being prompted to fill in additional details relating to a matter. Select Yes, I want to submit the information now. And then click OK. Enter the required information. And click Submit. An automated email is sent both to the fee earner dealing with the matter and to the client, thanking them for submitting the information. Select Click Here to continue to all current cases. This area will list all published matters. Each matter may have messages available for the client to read. Click the number of messages to be able to reveal them all and then read them. Messages can then be flagged as red to remove them. Click on a case description to view the details. The first area will show any published documents. To the right hand side of any published document is an actions area. Selecting the first icon opens a contact us screen from within which a message can be sent directly to the practice's main email. Selecting the second icon enables the client to save or open a copy of the item. Selecting the third icon shows a preview of the document. And selecting the fourth icon will show the version history of the document and also offers the ability to preview or download a previous version. A client can change the view of items per page, or they can use the arrows at the bottom of the documents area to navigate to additional pages. This area will show any published workflow tasks, including the actions within them. Ticked indicates the task has been run, and the date column shows the date the task was run. There is also an action icon. Selecting this opens up a contact us screen, and a message box appears relating to the matter and workflow task. Once sent, the message goes directly to the practice's main email. Click on the arrow to the left of the task description to expand it. Selecting the arrows at the bottom of the task allows a client to flick through any additional actions. Items per page can also be changed to show either 5, 10 or 20 entries per page. These options are also available when viewing tasks. This area displays any published outstanding key dates. Against each key date is the ability to message the practice in relation to the matter and key date. Thank you for watching. For regular tips and tricks videos and live Q&A sessions, please follow us on Twitter at Osprey Support.